All right, for our next video here today, got the SIG 229 and 40 caliber. 40 caliber, this magazine says it's for 40 and 357 SIG. Get these used, trade in, you know, for four or 500 bucks. Um, the light, you know, 60 bucks for a SIG light. And uh, the trigger is pretty good all the way to the back, not a heavy pull. But the reset is long, I'm gonna get the short reset uh, sear for it. See all that play? And then the reset's not till way out here. Way there. All right, I had a 226, but I replaced it with this A-Rex. It's better in every single way. These are 599. I got some wood grips for it, red light. But you can see the trigger on this. I put the short reset kit in. Okay. Here's the reset. Come on. If I could figure out how to shut it. There. All right. Here's the reset right there anyway I bought a nine millimeter barrel on eBay for a hundred bucks brand new from a used dealer but it's brand new barrel um, I've been told on the internet in the groups you can just put the SIG barrel in. You don't have to change anything. It's not as accurate. The most accurate way to do it is to buy the complete SIG slide because this barrel is a little bit thicker than this barrel so it doesn't fit just perfect. So you can buy the slide, the whole upper slide with the barrel and everything is the most accurate. Another way is there's a company called Bar B-A-R-S-T-O, they make a conversion barrel, which is fatter. It's like a heavy barrel, but it's nine millimeters, so it fits perfectly in here. Uh, so if this isn't accurate, I might go with that. I don't really shoot, I, I, I like shooting 40 out of it, so I, I probably won't waste my money, but I got, I think, four rounds left. I reload my 40. So, like I'm going to run out of 40 and I want to keep going with 9, I can just switch the barrel. So, let's see where it is on paper. And then I'll show you how to swap it. No safety. Oh, it's decock. That's why. Okay, that's the safety. All right. Let's see what happens. I normally get them all in there, but um, I didn't shoot enough today beforehand. Anyway, that's where it's hitting right now. Now I'll show you how to put the nine millimeter barrel on. Oh wait, leave it locked back, pull the lever, that's the uh, disassembly lever, and the barrel just comes right off, take the recoil spring out, remove the barrel, I already put a couple drops of oil on this thing, 
put the brand new barrel in, place the recoil spring. Now, I've been told this works without changing magazines or anything. So I'm going to use the 40 magazine, which holds 12. Got some brand new ammo here. Let's see how many we can fit in here. There's 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it says, it doesn't say ten yet. Man, that'd be sweet if I got fifteen in here. 11, 12, 13, no, 12. Wait, I think there's room. There's 12. I got 13 in there. Let's see, 14. 14, it's totally full. All right, I'm going to put this back on. Let's see if we can get this baby up to 15 plus one, maybe. What do you think? Okay, now, to put this back on, you wanna, uh, the, bar the recoil string spring is quite strong, so pull it back and, and pop your lever. That way you can, all right, it's back on. Fits good, loads up. I got one in the chamber. What did I do with that one I had? Oh well. So we got 14 in here and one in here. So we got, no, we got 15 in here. I don't remember. God damn it. I think we got 16 in here all together. Hit the decocker. I should have did that before I put the magazine in. All right, it's ready to shoot. Let's see where it hits on the paper if it even works. How's that? Oh, that looks good. Okay, good. All right, there we go. Yeah, that was 16 shots. It did not lock open. Probably because that recoil spring is strong. It works good. Um, so, it looks like it works okay. Uh, that might be, you know, I might su just suck. So either it's not accurate, because uh, let's look at the dimension here. You can see that there's a gap now. There wasn't a gap before. So this barrel's thinner. So, that leads to less accuracy. But if you're just doing self-defense, I mean, it's gonna work. If you're trying to target shoot, you're using the wrong gun. I say it's a go for 99 bucks. Hell yeah. Plus I was out of ammo anyway. Now I can keep shooting. All right, thank you for watching.